Hi, my name's Aaron. I did my project on strawberry DNA. And so I extracted DNA. And so I gently extracted DNA from a underripe, overripe, and then just ripe strawberries. So my hypothesis was that the ripe strawberry would have the most because it was neither still growing nor like old and beat up like the overripe strawberry. And since it was easier to pulverize, I was wrong because so the overripe strawberry ended up having the most DNA because it was like old and beat up and like super squishy. But so that made, made more juice and then in that juice was more DNA. And so if I had like more chunks of it, I don't think that more DNA like got out of the strawberry. And so the less chunks there were, the more DNA I would have. <coughs> and so the materials I needed for this project were di um, dish, uh, dish, dish soap, just, just soap, soap, just, sh dish soap, small beaker slash test tube, a plastic bag, a strainer, tweezers, a strawberry, a measuring cup, measuring spoons, salt, ISO, rubbing alcohol, and water. So my procedure is that, and um, so moving on. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> so my procedure, um, step one through step 13, is step one, measure 90 milliliters of water. Step two, add 10 milliliters of dish soap into the water. Step three, add one fourth of a tablespoon of salt into the beaker, and then step four, mix it up. Step five, put your strawberry into your plastic bag, and add some and add the solution from step one through four into the bag with the strawberry. Remove as much air for, as possible from the bag, then seal it. Mash up the strawberry in the bag until it is almost all liquid, and then use the strainer to separate the chunks from the liquid. Transfer the liquid into a small beaker or test tube. Add five milliliters of iced isopril, just rubbing alcohol, into the water. I mean, into the beaker. Hold the beaker at eye level and observe results. Take the tweezers and extract the white film from the liquid. Mine didn't quite turn out like that. Um, I don't know why, but I it, I couldn't extract the DNA from the um, cup or beaker. So I just kind of like, um, so it all still came to the top, but I couldn't extract it. And so I measured how much there was at the top. And then, so that's how I got the results. The ripe and underripe strawberries actually both tied with four tenths of a centimeter, whereas the overripe strawberry actually had one half of a centimeter. And so, thank you for watching my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, bye bye.